private clients that I work one-on-one with text me her meal as I have asked her to do. And today she found herself at a Chinese restaurant. She felt that she done very, very well. She did good, but she could have done better. And I want to use this as a teaching tool to show everyone what they should be looking at on that plate when they go to a Chinese restaurant. Now here's the picture that she sent me via text message. And let's go through and let me talk about what's on these two plates to begin with. First off, we've got crab salad. Never ever eat crab salad out. Number one, it's going to have a lot of fat in it. Number two, it's probably going to have a lot of sugar in it. Number three, the imitation crab meat is full of starch. So we don't want to be adding starch, potential sugar, and fat all together. Not a good idea. Now, if you like crab salad, it's real easy to do at home. You can use an approved mayo with some imitation crab meat. Still going to have the starch in it, but you're going to use a, a really low-fat mayo like Kraft Fat-Free Mayo or Walden Farms Calorie-Free Mayo. A little apple cider vinegar, salt, and pepper. You can make your own delicious crab salad at home, but you don't ever want to do it when you're eating out. Not a good idea. Next on the plate, we've got some cucumbers here or either zucchini squash, one or the other. Doesn't matter. Both are category two. This was a good selection. She's got shrimp on the plate, another good selection. She's got what looks to be uh, bell peppers, onions, Mongolian beef, and pork. Another little piece of crab there. Sister likes that crab, doesn't she? Hey, I do too. Can't blame her for that. Got a piece of broccoli, and you've got some asparagus. So as we look at this, and the first thing that comes to mind for me is that people, generally speaking, underestimate what it's going to take to be successful. And they're so used to extreme portions that folks don't even know what a right portion is anymore. This is too much food. Though I believe this would represent a much better selection than most people usually select at a Chinese restaurant, it's still too much food if we're serious about losing weight. Now, what she had here, let me go on and say this, it's not all that bad. And I certainly don't see anything here that's going to cause her to gain weight. I bet she's doing much better than she used to do. But I do see a lot here that's going to prevent us from losing weight. Remember, it's the little foxes that spoil the vines. Let me show you what's really good about this plate and where we should have focused our attentions. Either this zucchini squash or cucumber, whichever that is, that's a great selection. Remember, we're eating out. A Chinese restaurant's not going to be cooking in very much cooking spray or in MCT oil. So we have to assume there's a big giant number four on the plate, uh, protein plus fat. So everything here, I'm looking, hey, I want to make sure if it's cooked in a fat that I'm not adding any carbohydrate that'll spike my blood sugar, like that imitation crab with that starch and potential sugar there. But hey, we circle the cucumbers or zucchini squash, whichever that is, looks good. The shrimp, fabulous, not a bad selection. You can tell by looking at it. It's probably lightly steamed if there's any oil there. Excuse me, it's steamed uh, or either lightly sauteed. Very little fat, very little oil. You can tell by looking at the coloration of the shrimp. Good selection there. She could have had a little more of that. The asparagus, great selection. Or that may be peppers now that I take another look at it. I can't tell. Either way, it's a great selection, whether peppers or asparagus. Then she's got the Mongolian beef and pork. Not a bad selection at all. Now, I can't tell from the picture. You want to pay attention when you're eating at a, a Chinese restaurant to make sure that it's not lightly breaded. They like to lightly bread that. And if you see just like a, a grainy texture over the top of it, that's going to mean that it's lightly battered. We don't want that. But I can't tell, so I'm going to assume it's not. Uh, but these are good selections for this plate. Now, let's look at what I wish she had done for extreme fat loss, okay? She goes to the Chinese restaurant, and on one side of the plate, 
We've got the Mongolian beef and pork with the onions and bell peppers, assuming it's not breaded. We've got the shrimp. And we've got the peppers or asparagus there. And we've got the cucumbers or zucchini, whichever it is. But what I've got here now is a four plus two. That's a four plus two plate. And that's going to be a fabulous meal for fat burning. Both my hands could cover that plate. Now, I just cropped those pictures out. You, you can use some common practical sense here and realize that you would get a little more food uh, if you were really covering up both sides of the plate. But basically, about four ounces of shrimp, four ounces of the Mongolian beef, bell peppers, and onions on the other side of the plate, nothing but category two. That's what I would have done. That one little change, or those couple small changes, I should say, would have turned that meal into a really great fat burning meal and it probably would have been more satisfying because I would have had more protein. Let's say that the Mongolian beef had been lightly breaded or the Mongolian pork lightly breaded, then I would have pulled out the bell peppers and onions, put that on my plate if I liked those, and then added more shrimp or even got a, a chicken skewer of some sort. But anyway, Hope that helps. Wanted to use that as a teaching point. The main thing she did wrong there, just too much food. And really the only other thing was the imitation crab when she was eating out. Hope this helps. See you later.